Hello everyone, I'm Ronnie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing some of my daily routines here on Juice, my brand new Kidcore Island. I'm going to discuss some of my opinions on some villagers today. So if you're interested in content like this and you would like to see more in the future, I'd appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time that I post, click the notification bell and you'll never miss a video. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. <laughs> I have strong opinions about certain villagers. If you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about the ones that I hate. <laughs> I have very strong opinions about certain specific villagers and certain species in the game so um there are actually some entire groups of villagers that i will not take <laughs> and since i started a new island i thought it'd be cool to kind of show you guys um, some of the ones i hate and give you some insight into why i choose the villagers that i choose and the ones that i typically look for and now that i've decided to do a kid core island know that I'm going to need to be a little more open-minded and be open to letting different villagers onto the island because there's, you know, a lot more kid-core ones that are different colors. I typically go for, like, the neutral ones, but there are still a lot of villagers that, under no circumstance, <laughs> will be coming onto this island. Not one foot. <laughs> But before I get too far into this video, I'm going to make a blanket statement for the remainder so that you know. These are my opinions. I'm not going to continually say in my opinion because this video is entirely 100% my personal opinion. And if you disagree, that is 100% okay. I hope you stick around. If not, that's okay too. Just whatever. I, I want to get that out of the way before someone comments about how mean I'm being towards their favorite villager. <laughs> Yeah, meanness is not my intent, so, um, but pure, unhindered opinion is my intent, so I'm aware that some of these villagers have ins inspiration from, like, different cultures and real-life people, but I'm not trying to disrespect them or anyone's opinion, okay? Just getting that out of the way. Are we good? Okay, here we go. So, there are 35 species of villagers in Animal Crossing. And that's not including the NPCs. Those are just the ones you can invite to live in your island. And I did not realize there were so many. But yes, there, there are. And here I listed them for you. These are all the species that um, you could have as a villager. Alright, now here is a list of the villagers that 9 times out of 10 I'm going to pass up on a villager hunt. And I don't have time to go through all these, but I'm going to touch on 8 different species that I think are the absolute worst. And at the end, I'm going to tell you the top 3 worst villagers of all time. So <laughs> make sure you stick around for the end of the video for the award ceremony. <laughs> so let's start off with cows. To be fair, this is not the worst species out there. And if you have a farm core island, you're probably going to need a cow villager. But I don't really like any of the cows except maybe, maybe Tipper. And I've never even had her on an island before. But the worst cow by far is Naomi. I mean, what is up with the demon eyes? And the insanely saturated robin egg blue color. She really hurts my eyes. Next is the ant eaters. Like, why? No. Their noses, they're gross and they're floppy and you can't see their mouths. And I have, I've never had an ant eater villager and I hope that I never do because they're just so icky. The worst one is Olaf. <laughs> like, why is he so mad? Why is he so angry? He looks like he's, he looks like a ticked off Oompa Loompa. And he tried out for a mariachi band and he was rejected. Next is kangaroos. What a poorly shaped species. <laughs> Some of the babies really creep me out too. And they're basically tiny clones of their mothers. And they react and respond the same way when they're spoken to. And that's just weird. And I also hate how short the kangaroo's arms are. Um, the worst kangaroo is Sylvia. Her hair looks oily. Her eyes are icky. And I don't know. She reminds me of a washed out punk rocker. Who, like, secretly still wants to be in the band or something. Next is the gorillas. I literally hate them all. They all suck. 
definitely rank in my top three worst species for sure, but the worst one is this monstrosity. Oh, great heavens! I mean, what the actual crap? Yeah, I, I think it's the lips that get me for her, but why, Nintendo? Why? Next, let's talk about the rhinos. Okay, so there's a few rhinos that are okay, like meringue. Um, but I'm not going to have one on my island. Most of their eyes are just not good. The, and the worst one's Renee. Again, the eyes. <laughs> Why did they make so many villagers look angry? And I think it's her intense eyeliner on the top that's not working for me like, at all. Next are the mice. Just pure evil, these things. All of them suck, except for the one and only Petrie. She's new, so she gets a pass. But great heavens! They went all out for ugliness on this species. I mean, like, Bella, Limburg, Dora. God, help them. The worst mouse is Moose. I almost put Limburg, but Moose is just somehow worse than the orange aftershave mouse. It's the facial expression, the curly hair that does it for me. He's looking like he's thinking about inappropriate things, and it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Moving on to the hamsters. These little fur balls just, they're not cute to me. I can see how some people like them because they're really not horrible. They're just they're just not great. I don't mind Flurry or Apple, but neither of them are ever invited. Never. Rodney is the worst hamster. And I know a lot of people hate him. Um, I mean, because look at him. I've never interacted with him during the game, but his appearance keeps me from even wanting to start dialogue with him. And he reminds me, like, of a slob who parks their butt on the couch every day and eats junk food and... For whatever reason, he just feels like he's greasy and he needs a bath. Let's talk about frogs. I know a lot of you are going to come at me in the comments for this one because a lot of you like frog villagers, but I've just, I've never been able to get into them. There are a few that are okay, but I don't think I've ever willingly invited a frog to live on my island. Um, Drift was one of my starters on Lavender, but he was literally the first one to go. The worst frogs are Jim Betts and Gigi. Like, I just don't understand why they, they designed them with lips like this. Like, both of their lips are horrific. Gigi looks like she's trying to seduce you, and it's just not working, girlfriend. Both of these lady frogs are just... They're atrocious. Alright, so like I said in the beginning of the video, I have some medals to give out to the top three worst villagers of all time. So in third place, we've got Moose. <laughs> his curly hair and his facial expressions got him to the number three spot, but he he's just a creep. I would literally never have him on my island. In second place, I put a villager... Um, whose species that I actually really like. And I've had several of this species on my island, and I probably will in the future as well. But coming in with the silver <laughs> is Cashmere. Uh, she was on the thumbnail, so she had to definitely make the video. <laughs> her barf colored skin and her beady eyes won her the silver medal. I mean, she is just awful. Why do they do her like that? With like the color for her skin and then paired that color with that bright wool color. I mean, why? She's just so ugly. Bless her. Alright, so coming in first place is probably my number one hated species. It's the gorilla. It's female. And it is... <laughs> gorilla. I mean, what the literal crap were the designers thinking? I mean, first off, Hello Kitty should have been represented by a cat, which I think we can all agree. Secondly, they chose this huge-ass species that had lips that looked something like, I'm not going to say out loud, downstairs parts of a female. There, that, that's what they look like. Why did they make them that shade of pink? Like, and so thick on the top lip, and the nose looks like a double portal into another world, and oh my god. Rilla, honey, she is without a doubt the ugliest villager in this entire game. I'm so thankful that she'll never be in the campsite or on a mystery island, so I have literally no chance of getting her randomly auto-filled on my island or anything like that. So that's the only saving grace about ugly old Rilla. Well, that about does it for this video, but before we go, I wanted to give um, a shout out to some honorable mentions. <laughs> 
These villagers are ugly and they're awful, um, but they didn't quite make it to the spotlight in this video, so here they are. Let's all give a round of applause for Prince, Hippo, Bella, Canberra, and Gerald. You are all so horrible, and I hope that I never have to endure your faces on my island. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was all in good fun, and I really enjoyed talking about the uglies. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!